as a part of our uh, resource for international applicants for uh, MBA applications. So this is the application walkthrough and we'll be discussing the requirements for the Georgia Tech Scheller program. This is a full time MBA program and uh, an interesting uh, part about the application process is that it is a GMAT or a GRE. The Georgia Tech Scheller program is uh, test optional when it comes to submitting your GMAT or GRE score. So what does test optional means? Test optional means that it is up to you as an applicant to decide whether the score will be important and it will strengthen your application. And if yes, then you submit your uh, the test score along with the application. So the optional, if you feel that you have a strong application and you do not have the time or you know, the bandwidth to write the GMAT or the GRE test scores, then you can go in with uh, submitting your application form without it. The criteria for application does not mandatorily require you to submit or a GMAT or a GRE score, but it is always preferred that international applicants should submit their application with the GMAT or GRE scores because it does, you know, give the school a lot of confidence in terms of your academic capabilities with respect to the MBA program specifically. So when we start with the MBA application for Georgia Tech Scheller, you, when you log in, you will have to add your personal information and the information about your location. Beyond that, you need to select the program. So you can select the full-time MBA program and then you know check the campus and the entry term that you're applying for. And the deadline for this application is June 15, 2024. You can also add your interest in a teaching assistantship or a graduate research assistantship over here. Uh, if you want to go in for a teaching assistantship, which will be another uh, input for you for financial support as an international applicant, this is not a financial aid option. The teaching assistantship is an additional avenue for you to earn while on campus, but this does not constitute the financial aid process. Being an international applicant, it is always uh, important and uh, useful for you if you select this option. Coming to the next section of the Georgia Tech Scheller MBA application, you have to add your academic uh, details, have your transcripts ready, and uh, you can add the details of the institutions as well as the state that it's attended, the level of study, was it a graduate or undergraduate program? So your bachelor's program will constitute the undergraduate studies, and uh, especially for the applicants from India then you have to upload the transcript. So add the undergraduate and graduate programs that you have attended over here, the degrees attended, then in this particular section. The next is the additional. The next is the additional information. If you are a first time graduate student or you have, you have pursued or if you are a current graduate at another institution and if you are also a student at Georgia Tech, you can select any of these option, options. So let's say I'm a first time graduate student and then you do you do you want to pursue a PhD in the future? Are you the first one in your family who's uh, attending college, who has attended college or uh, you know gotten a bachelor's degree? Then the next information is about you know how did you conduct your research and what what all platforms uh, motivated you to pro, uh, to apply to the Georgia Tech Scheller MBA test scores. So remember that it is test optional. It is not mandatory for you to attach the test scores. So this is not a mandatory section. If you have a test score and if you feel that it will add value to your application, you must always submit it. Uh, special advice for international applicants, especially Indian applicants, in case you have a test score, add your the GMAT or the GRE scores. So and the executive assessment, the GMAT, the GMAT focus edition, or the GRE score. So you can add the applicable test scores in this particular section. Then you need to add the employment details. So employment details will require you to add the inputs about your organization start and the end date, salary, the roles and responsibilities. And if this is your uh, current position or whether you've had previous employment, you add all of these uh, in separate boxes. Try and add it in the chronologically reverse order. The next section that you need to upload is your res resume or CV in the word format. Remember that this is a resume which is going in for the MBA application. So don't upload up your technical resume. Make sure that it talks about your positions of responsibility, the leadership skills that you have gained and uh, the interest that you have pursued over a period of time. The other information that you can add is about the professional de uh, development that you have undertaken. So if you have pursued any uh, online courses or MOOCs or any professional development certifications, you may upload all of them in a single file. This is 
technically not applicable to in, uh, the international applicants or the indian applicants this is if you have a uh, military background in the us uh, government agency or in the us armed forces you can add that the next section that is going to be important for you is the recommendation letter you can request up to 3 letters of recommendation for the georgia tech sheller mba the format of the letter of recommendation will be the gmac common letter of recommendation so you can inform your letter recommenders as to what they can expect from the school trigger the letter of recommendation for your for your recommender and you can select whether he, uh, it is an academic recommendation or professional recommendation or the gmac common letter of recommendation you add the details of the recommender and a personal message to them and forward the form from the school uh, this will trigger the form from the school for, towards uh, to your recommender for filling up the recommendation letter for your candidate for applying to the program this is the information that you have to fill in and more or less this completes the application for you. coming to the main section of the application form now which is the essays and the information about your post graduate goals so you have to write, uh, select your undergraduate major over here let's say it is business and management and then what is the number of months of full time work experience that you have you are coming into the program with so let's say it is 60 then you come to select your current industry the current functional role that you have been a part of the company name and then add about whether you want your application to be considered without a test score so if you are planning to go test optional then you can select it over here yes in this particular box and you have to write uh, this essay to highlight your uh, preparedness and why you should be considered without a test score you can add the quantitative experience in let's say you have been into data analytics or there is some uh, the professional experience that you have has had a component of quantitative experience or if your academic history has prepared you academically for the mba program you can add this information over here the word limit for this is 2000 characters it is not words it is characters so make sure you have that write up ready for yourself and uh, in case you are planning to take up the dual degree program that is the option that you can select over here apart from that you will have to fill in the essay question so there are three essay questions which are mandatory for the georgia tech sheller mba program and uh, the word limit for each of these is 2000 characters so these three essay questions need to be uploaded over here you need to add the response in copy paste it into this particular area and then also in case you are planning to use the optional section Uh, this is an important section which you can use to explain your recommenders your any gaps in your career or any gaps in your education or your grades whichever uh, things that you feel you know will uh, require an explanation uh, you have around 500 words to write this essay so this is about all that you need to fill for the georgia tech sheller mba program all the best in case you have any questions uh, you can reach out to us or add your questions in the comments we'll be happy to address them for you